Hello and welcome to segment number four from Snow's Chess Academy in our chess lessons. Today we're going to focus on check, checkmate, and the five ways a game can end in a draw. Take a look at the board here. We're going to focus on what check is. Check is when a king is under attack. There are three things you can do to get out of check when your king is under attack. Let's take a look at them. Uh, the first thing you can do when, for example, this queen has checked the king here on the diagonal, you can attempt to run the king away. Uh, this is the most common uh, answer to check among beginners, but not necessarily always the best. There are other options. Let's say, for example, we had a position like, like this, in which the queen moved to c3 with check. Well, now it certainly would not make any sense to run the king away. No, no, it would make perfect sense to capture the queen with either the rook or the king. Remember, the king can capture other pieces as long as the king is not moving next to another king or moving itself into check. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say, for example, we had a knight here. It would now be an illegal move for the king to capture the queen because the knight could capture the king or would be controlling that square. However, it would be perfectly legal for the rook to capture the queen, okay? So, we may capture the checking piece in addition to running away. We may also block the checking piece. Let's take a look at this check. We can simply block the checking piece, okay? The most aggressive way to get out of check is to capture the checking piece under most circumstances and uh, another way that helps is to block, and of course you can always run the king away. Now I am often asked, if my king is in check, can I put my opponent's king in check? Well, the, the answer to that is, for the most part, no. However, were you to get your own king out of check, and in the process put your opponent's king in check, it would be legal. Let me give you an example of that. Here the queen places the red king here into check. White will block the check getting out of check and happen to put the black king into check. So under these circumstances, you can see, yes, you can get your king out of check by putting your opponent's king in check, but only because you got your own king out of check. It would not be legal, for example, in this position, the same position, to bring the rook up and put the king in check. No, no, because the red king remains in check. Okay, so if we remember the three things we can do, take the checking piece, run the king away, or block, sometimes we use the word interpose for block, uh, we can get out of check that way. So let's talk a little bit about uh, checkmate. Let's talk about checkmate. Now in this position, this is actually from a game I played many years ago in a junior high school championship, black is threatening checkmate three different ways. White it does not appear to be in very good shape, but we're gonna, when we talk about draws, we're going to find a way out for him. If it were black's move, black could checkmate one of three ways. The first way, and we call this one the in-your-face checkmate, in which the queen, defended by the black king, checks the king right here on the file, and the king is unable to escape, either to e1 because of the diagonal check, or to e2 because of both the queen and the king, and also unable to go to d2 for, because of both the black queen and the king's ability to control that square. This is clear uh, and simple checkmate. Another checkmate, very similar to the first one, is moving the queen down to e2. We see another example in which the king cannot capture the queen, nope, the check cannot be blocked, and the king cannot run away. The rook sadly controls the one square, is on the one square that the king can move to. Finally, let's look at the third checkmate that black could perform in this position, and it's the long range checkmate from far away. Now, in this case, we see the queen and the king working beautifully as a team, really complementing each other. Notice how the black king, with its force field of power, stops the red king from moving to any of these squares because kings cannot move next to each other. Notice the queen does not control any of these squares, nor does she need to, because she is attacking the king here on the back rank and the black king is controlling the three squares the king might consider moving to. In this position, note again, the queen cannot be captured, the check cannot be blocked, and the king cannot run away. All right, now we're gonna talk a little bit about draws. 
In this position, it is White's move, and it was my turn in this position with White, and I found a rather sneaky way to get out of this checkmate, these three different checkmates that are being threatened, utilizing the rule known as stalemate. Now, stalemate is when none of your pieces can move and your king is not in check. Then it is a draw by stalemate. Now, what is a draw? Well, a draw is a tie. Each side gets half a point when there is a draw. One point for a win, zero points for a loss. In this position, I realized that if I were to get rid of my rook and my king were not to be in check, I would have no legal move, but my king would not be in check. It would be a draw. Okay, remember, stalemate is when none of your pieces can move and your king is not in check. So I jettisoned my rook by moving it on up here to c3. My opponent, of course, was not very happy in this position when I offered my opponent a draw. This is another way a game can end in a draw. Stalemate, offering your opponent a draw. Uh, my opponent agreed to the draw because had my opponent captured the rook, my king, which is not in check, would have no legal move. Notice I cannot go to c1 because of the queen or c2 because of the king. And of course the black queen controls all of these other squares. Now, um, another thing to take into account is the draw that can arise by ha having not enough pieces to provide checkmate. Let's take a look at that scenario, which was another potential issue here. Had the king simply moved away, my rook would have no doubt not hesitated to capture the black queen, the black king would have captured the black rook, and now we have what's called a draw by not enough pieces. We've now just seen our third draw, okay? And there are two other kinds of draws. One is called the threefold repetition. This will often happen in a game involving beginners where one simply does not know how to land a checkmate. And black, for example, will check. And now we've seen this position for the first time. White will come forward. Black will check. Notice that both sides, not just one, are repeating their moves. Now we have just seen this position for the second time. White moves up to g2. The rook comes back to e2. White, of course, wants to have a draw because he can't possibly win with only a king left. And when black repeats this position, white can claim a draw by threefold repetition. And that is our fourth kind of draw. Now the last kind of draw, draw number five, is a draw that results from what we call the 50 move rule. And I've seen this happen in the, this scenario, in which uh, one side in this case happens to have a king and a rook, and the other side has a king and a queen. If both sides make 50 moves without a pawn being moved, or a piece being captured, which is very unlikely in this scenario uh, intentionally, the game ends in a draw. Notice there are no pawns on the board to be moved, and there are, uh, there are uh, white would not want to capture the rook, or it would be a draw by not enough pieces. Okay, so the five draws are draw by offering your opponent a draw, which is something you do after you have moved first, by the way. Draw by the 50 move rule, that's 50 moves by both sides without a pawn move or a piece being captured. Draw by not enough pieces to checkmate. Draw by stalemate when your king is not in check and none of your pieces can move, not just your king, none of your pieces can move. And draw by repeating the same position three times, known as a threefold rep re repetition. And as a quick review, we'll just remember there are three ways to get out of check. Blocking the check, capturing the checking piece, and running the king to a safe square. Just because it is, you can make a check does not mean you should make one. All right, this concludes our lesson here on check, checkmate, and the five different kinds of draws. Thanks so much for watching.